Hi, I'm going to show you how to configure Adobe's Enterprise Enablement for Legacy Browsers. This feature will allow you to run BMC Remedy Flash-based forms and features. So let's start. So now I'm going to log into a standard 2002 patch 2 system, which has the Atrium Core console, which is still Flash-based. I'm going to choose this because it's one of the most popular consoles that are still flash based in Remedy. Okay, as you can see, I'm able to open this flash console, is still working. So now what I'm going to do is close this system and the browser and then open my Windows settings. I'm going to change the date to January 2021. This is after this day, then the code switch for all the browsers to not enable flash will have happened. So now I'm going to return to that remedy and you'll see what happens. I'm going to log in again. And then I'm going to open the Atrium Core console again. To enable Flash. And then this is what you will get. At, this is because the at Flash kill switch for this browser has been triggered when I move the date to 2021. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring our documentation on Adobe Flash Player alternatives. So apart from the Harman browser, we have this documentation here about Adobe Enterprise Enablement. So you will require to build this file, mms.cfg, with these parameters. Basically telling it to allow, and then what URLs are going to be allowed to use Flash. So I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to go back to the server and I'm going to open a notepad. All right. So I'm going to paste those instructions and then I'm just going to copy the URL for my meteor. I'm going to substitute it here. If you have several mid-tiers or if you have a load balancer, any proxy, so all those URLs must be in here. For example, I'm going to add another one for my FQDN. Same URL, but adding the domain. All right. So I'm, I need to save this as mms.cfg, but in, what, in which pad? So I'm going to return here to our documentation. And then open this Adobe Flash Player Administration Guide. I already have it open here. So now, if you go into page 36 of this document, this will tell you all the paths which this file should be. So as you can see, here's the Windows uh, path, uh, but also there's a Mac OS, Linux, and, and a specific one for Google Chrome, which is the browser I'm using now. So I'm in Windows using Google Chrome. I'm going to follow this path right here. So I'm going to copy it and then go back to the Windows system, paste it in the File Explorer, and then I'm going to create a new folder here called System. Once I open this folder, I'm going to copy this pad and I'm going to save the mms.cfg here. So put the file name and oh oops I'm making a mistake here in the file name let me correct that all right and now hit save and now let's put away this file which is already done and now you should close the browser open it again I'm going to go into the same exact meter, put my username, password, and then open the Atrium Core console. Enable Flash here, and as you can see, the Flash console is already enabled. And my date is still January 29, 2021. So this is an alternative on how to run flash page application with this method. And now I'm going to do a quick demo. As you can see, I, will, I use the Google Chrome example. But I, if you have 
IE or Microsoft Edge, you would need to use these pads right here. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to copy this 32-bit pad. And then what I'm going to do is open a second file explorer window so I don't lose the file already configured, MMS.CFG. And then I'm going to copy this file in here. And in case you're in, in a 764-bit uh, uh, system, use this other pad here. And then paste it in here and then copy the file. So after this, now I'm going to copy my, my URL and then open Microsoft Edge. I'm going to use this URL here. Just do a login. and open the Etrium core console. And I'm able to use it. And the date is still January 2021. So this is basically how you would enable. So as a summary, this is basically what we needed, the MMS.CFG file and the file location stated in this documentation. I will also recommend reading through the entire Adobe documentation and our documentation, uh, which you can find in our uh, Docs BMC portal. It's very important to understand how this feature works and any other doubts you might have with this Adobe feature. Uh, thank you.